worrying about the things which are out of control. You can't do anything about it. You have to just move on and be happy with your present. People around us will always have an opinion about you. Some people think you are bad, some people think you are awesome, some people think you are ugly, some people think you are beautiful. But what matters the most in life is what you think about yourself. Because you are going to stay with yourself throughout your life. So be a fan of yourself, be a supporter for yourself, love yourself. ಎಲ್ಲ ವಸ್ತುಗಳು ನಮ್ಮದೆಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮದೆಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಖಂಡಿತವಾಗಿಯೂ ಎಲ್ಲವದು ನಮ್ಮದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಸ್ತುಗಳಿಂದ ದೂರ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಓಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಯು ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಓವ just take a moment to think about when you have complimented someone on just make others feel great it also help us to enhance our own self confidence giving a genuine compliment requires us to see a good in others in doing so we will find a good in ourselves so stop finding mistake in others instead compliment find good in others stop expecting from people stop expecting from anyone in the sense if you are expecting something from someone then you will get hurt and by the end of the day you will feel bad so better stop expecting from people start giving once you start giving then you will find the happiness please start your day with the gratitude towards the supreme power and you have got a second chance to live your life and show the gratitude towards the supreme power where you can ask him or ask him to give you the support the whole day you want so please start with the gratitude and don't go and start charging your phone or start checking your phone so please start your day with the gratitude towards the supreme power thank you start your day with the things making right small things right from the beginning from the bed keep your bed keep your bed clean neat tidy and folded start with that and you will have a positive vibe throughout the day so start your day with your bed and you have a positive day thank you how to come out of fear fear which is not allowing us to do anything which is not allowing us to achieve anything in life such fears are bad we have to try to come out from such fears how to come out from such fears there is a only way to come out from such fears is to face the fear keep repeating the same thing which fears you which scares you the most keep doing the same thing which scares you the most before going to bed you just follow these three simple steps so that you will have a clear and peaceful sleep one is take a shower before going to bed that will cleanse in your mind and body and you will have a peaceful sleep second is light a lamp in the bedroom so that you will feel a positive and positive energy will be there around you when you are sleeping and third thing is take 5 minutes to meditate before going to sleep that will pass the positive energy to the subconscious mind and you will have a clear sleep and morning you will wake up with a clear mind to have a one more beautiful day thank you to fix this 
negative perception you must step back and check yourself in the mirror what is that fault in you that you are judging others you are not the judge you are not the jury so ask yourself these questions before rushing to a verdict do i know this person am i being fair to them or am i just surmising so when you ask these questions then it will interrupt your negative thought pattern because when you are judging other person without knowing their whole story about or you are not experiencing their problems or you don't know anything about them then you cannot you cannot judge other person based on your experience you might be in a good position you might be feeling good or you might be having a good things around you but other person might not he might be going through so many problems so stop judging others based on your own experience in certifying to avoid your anger the first step is delay your response so when you are angry your right side of the brain will start thinking and it will send you illogical irrational responses so once you delay your anger then the left side of the brain will start thinking and it will send you logical response so you will be able to think logically and respond to the second is anticipate the situations anticipate the situation is when you know there will be a conflict there will be a fight there will be a problems then when you are going through that when you are going to participate in that when you are needed in that then you rehearse yourself before going to that situations so that you can clarify everything without getting into any fights so anticipate so the situation when you are calm so when you are angry just leave the situations like that when you cool down or when the situation gets cooled down then you can resolve the situations you can talk to them and you will be able to solve the situations so always try to resolve the situations when it's calm but at the heat of the moment don't go and try to resolve the situations that will not going to happen